The three most important things in life: characters, king, hermit, bearded man, doctor, bodyguard. A certain king wanted to know the answers to three key questions. First, what is the most important thing to accomplish in life? Second, when should he accomplish the most important thing? And third. Who are the right people to help him accomplish that task? He thought that if he knew the answers to these questions, he would never fail in anything. So he declared throughout his kingdom that he would give a large reward to anyone who could answer the three questions. However, no one in the country was able to give him satisfying answers. The king then decided to consult a wise hermit. The hermit only received common people, so the king visited him wearing simple clothes. The king meets the hermit, who is digging the ground in front of his hut. Glancing at the king, the hermit greets him and goes on digging. Approaching, I have come to you, wise hermit. To ask you to answer three questions, what is the most important thing that deserves my attention? When is the right time to do that important thing? And who are the people I need most to help me accomplish it? Without saying a word, the hermit continues digging as if he had heard nothing. You look tired. Reaching for the hermit. Let me take this spade and work a while for you. Thanks. Giving the spade to the king, he sits down on the ground, watching the king digging the ground. To be honest, I know who you are. I think you possess everything you want. Are you still not satisfied? Of course not. Losing himself in thought for a while and rising from his seat. Now rest a while and let me work a bit. I have to get this job done. Not giving him the spade, the king continues to dig. The sun begins to set behind the trees. I came to you, wise man, for answers to my questions. If you can give me none, tell me so, and I will return home. A sound is heard in the woods. A bearded man appears. Here comes someone walking. Let us see who it is. Walking unsteadily in an urgent voice. Help me, please. Have mercy on me. Falling down on the ground unconsciously. Finding a large wound on the man's stomach. What happened to you? Come on. Are you okay? Putting his hand on the unconscious man's neck to see if he is alive. Judging from your wound, I need to do something to stop the bleeding. Doctor, doctor. Carrying the wounded man into the hut. In the hut, a doctor is caring for the bearded man who fell down on the ground unconscious. Is he going to make it? I am not sure, Your Majesty. I wonder who this man is. Anyway, there's no time for that now. You must do your best to save his life. Yes, Your Majesty, I will do my best. The hermit wakes up early the next morning and leaves for work. After the hermit is gone, the king's bodyguards rush to the king. Rushing to the king in an urgent voice, "Your Majesty, I'm afraid this place is dangerous for you." Why? Last night we found a strange man carrying a weapon. I think we had better leave this place as soon as possible. Okay, I'll return to my palace after I meet the hermit. The king sees the bearded man awake, in a weak voice. Forgive me. Are you okay now? F 
Forgive me. What do you mean? I have nothing to forgive you for. Yes, your majesty. You do not know me, but I know you. Seeing that you took away my property and put my brother to death, I was an enemy of yours who sought to get back at you. Knowing you had gone alone to see the hermit, I planned to kill you on your way back. But on my way here, I came upon your soldiers who wounded me. I would not have survived if you had not saved my life. If you allow it, I will serve you as your most faithful servant. Forgive me, your majesty. I forgive you, and I also accept you as one of my men. The hermit is outside, planting seeds in the ground that had been dug the day before. Approaching the hermit. For the last time, I beg you to answer my questions, wise man. Your questions were answered only when the wounded man appeared. What do you mean? If you had not dug these beds for me, that man would have attacked you. You might have been killed. So the most important time was when you were digging the beds. And I was the most important man, and helping me was your most important task. Afterwards, when that man ran to us, the most important time was when you were attending to him. If you had not had the doctor save his life, the bearded man would have died without having made peace with you. So he was the most important man, and what you did for him was the most important thing for you to do. You're right, you're right. I didn't know anything about that at that time. Yes, none of us knows what the future has in store for us. You speak words of wisdom, old man. Remember that there is only one time that is important. That time is now. Seeing that the present is the only time you are granted that you have control over, it is the most important time. The most important person is the one you are with, for you will never know whether you will ever have dealings with anyone else. Looking into the eyes of the hermit... Oh, I should have been wiser to realize this. I am grateful for the answers you have given to me. I have now found all three answers. Excited Bodyguard! Bodyguard! Running out of the woods. Yes, Your Majesty. Thanks to this man, I have all the answers to the three questions. Call my men from the palace and have them grant him anything that he wishes for. Lowering his head. Yes, Your Majesty. With his questions fully answered, the king makes up his mind to live by the hermit's great teachings. <laughs>